I'm a teacher, and I'm going to need your participation. Is that all right with you? Yes. Oh, great. Thank you. How many people here think that American education needs to be fixed? <laughs> it was very enthusiastic. Don't worry, you've got a lot of support behind you. What we just started is an educational environment. It's planned, but it's also personal, social, interactively complex. And scientific research shows that when we learn, our emotions, thoughts, and motivations work together, not apart. So here's my question. Why are we still talking about fixing education? You fix a car, a machine. That's how we talk about improving our schools, with approaches that are focused on efficiency and repeatability. Race to the top, performance-based pay, and of course performance means standardized test scores. We are talking about our students, teachers, and schools as machines. That's an inaccurate lens on human learning. So let me switch it. Think back. What made your best interactions with teachers positive, influential, and lasting? To study this, I found three university teachers, all professionally respected and popular students, teaching the same subject. What was their secret? I interviewed them, watched every class, talked with their students, <laughs> and they all used different teaching terms, uh, different teaching methods, and their students remembered slightly different things, but there was this in common. In interviews, all of these teachers reenacted classroom exchanges, reading students' faces, adjusting to emotions, refining the course dialogue. In classroom recordings, I could see these ex exchanges growing more coordinated as the term went on, academically and relationally, together. And students' course and reflections mirrored that connection. Overall, they viewed their grades as fair and found these courses enjoyable, memorable, and useful. What this research provides with its focus on teacher-student dialogue is an image of good educational interaction. And it's not a standardized machine that's fixable. It's a personalized experience, a dialogue, that's healthy. If we want to improve school outcomes and structures, we have to start with an understanding of healthy educational interactions. And expert teachers show us what that means. It means seeing this as a crucial form of assessment and feedback, attending to how this influences what this is doing. It means approaching education as a dialogue where academic and personal aims are connected in practice. Because students aren't machines, these are the foundations of a healthy education. And if education is not healthy, then it's not good. And it's definitely not fixed. So I'm going to need your participation. Is that all right with you? Yeah. I'm going to keep developing a research-based image of educational dialogue because we need to have informed, accurate conversations about schools and learning. What you can do is, next time someone asks, will this help fix education? Look deep into their eyes and say, is it healthy?